Hello, 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 my friends. I just finished watching um, Homeschool on a Wing and a Prayer's recent book haul, and when I just happened to be driving by my Salvation Army, I had to make a quick stop. And one hour later, let me show you what I found. What I love about seeing book hauls, especially thrift book hauls, it's not so much, um, well, okay, let's be honest, it is to see all the titles. I love looking at titles. Um, but also, I will sometimes end up picking books that I would have never thought to pick up. And this is actually one of them because I also had just recently seen um, Megan from Homeschool to Two share a book by this author, but it was, I think, Castles. And then I just happened to see this one, and I picked it up because I thought it would be um, something very useful right now, especially as we work through um, the medieval times, and we're about ready to head into uh, Martin Luther. And, you know, this kind of goes back into a little bit more detail, I think, and might go over some of my children's head. But... I have to admit that I was, you know, very impressed and very interested in it myself. All right, so keep sharing those hauls, ladies, because you never know when I might be inspired. I wouldn't have normally picked something like this up. It wouldn't have caught my eye or anything. But um, after seeing that video and then being there, um, I did pick it up, and I'm really glad I did. Or even just taking it off the shelf to look at it. Okay. All right, I'm just going to start pulling stacks over. Um, some of these were in a 10 cent bin and some were on the shelf. I'm not going to be able to tell you what was 10 cents and what wasn't. I think I ended up paying $10 for everything that I will be showing you today. I'm pretty sure I have this copy, but I picked it up because it was 10 cents. I remember that. Um, and I picked one up for my sister because I thought this was something she would very much enjoy. Um, I picked up this one. I recognize this this author, and I don't know if I have this book, so I need to talk to my husband. And again, I know this one was ten cents, so it was worth trying that. This one is definitely my um, top find of the day. This one was ten cents, so apparently I remember more ten cents than I thought. Um, but this was ten cents, and my kids are loving these. Um, these I Survived True Stories, and these are epic disasters, and I'm putting, I'm putting together all the books that I want uh, for American history for our next school year. I don't think this has ever been read, because it still cracks in everything um, when I open it, okay? Um, so you, um, but there's a ton of stories included in this. So it looks like it's the first five. The Children's Blizzard of 1888, Titanic, The Great Boston, Molasses Flood, The Japanese Tsunami, and The Henryville Tornado. The kids have read this one, but I don't think they've read any of the other ones. Oh, maybe, no, I don't think they've read the Titanic. Anyway, I'm really excited. This was a 10 cent find, and this was um, worth that stop just by itself. Um, I've seen a lot about this book, and especially... Um, on Kindle deals and uh, this was a 10 cent find and I'm really looking forward to reading it um, it's under fiction Christian and historical so that helps me um, a lot just because I am kind of uh, leery when it comes to just taking a leap of faith on a book I've never read before and I'm really looking forward to reading this, especially since uh, when we go into our American history and we read um, Oh, uh, what's that book called? The Cup of Death? I don't remember. So this one's The Cup of Death, but there's another one, and it's about the Dust Bowl. And I'm thinking I might read this one while the kids are doing that, just to kind of uh, do it along with them. Okay, so that's that stack. Let's go to the next stack. Woo! I had this one when I was a kid. I won it for reading, you know, X number of books at the library. And I saw it, and I just picked it up for um, our own... American study. I was hoping it would tell me what the age thing is. But anyway, I thought this would um, work well for my 
youngest sister or the oldest one that will be doing the American history with us. So I picked that up for her. Uh, Through the Gates of Splendor by Elizabeth Elliot. I do not have this one, so I picked that one up. And it's a hardback copy. Um, First Century Diaries, Gaius Diary, The Continuous Saga of Woman's Impact on the Early Christian. This looks really interesting. Um, in this gripping narrative, we hear the many historical events that caused perilous times for the fledging church. Gaius tells us of the fall of Jerusalem and the martyrdom of Christians torn apart by wild animals. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah, that looks... Okay, it looks sounds gruesome. It looks it looks good. It's gruesome. Um, but I, I was definitely very interested in this. And that was... I don't like 50 cents, I think. And I think it's brand new. It's crazy. All right. Um, this one was a leap of faith. I don't, I recognized this title. I don't know anything about this. And to be honest, the cover doesn't really draw me in. Um, but I decided to go ahead and try it and I might, uh, read it first or just be, you know, later on during the year, just kind of pass it along. Cause sometimes I do that as well. But so my my thing is, if you know anything about this, if you can tell me anything about this, please do. Mostly the back is just full of um, reviews on it, which it doesn't mean anything if I don't even know who the person's that's reviewing it. Okay. This I recognize my mom having this book on her shelf. You can tell it's very dated, but um, it's got the introduction by Susan Safer McCoolay, and I really like her uh, for the children's sake. So I picked that up. I have two of these. I don't know. There. Okay, let me grab this other one. There are two of these. One was the ten cents, and one was um, inside the store. And um, I actually have had this in my Amazon cart forever. I picked one up for me, but I also picked one up for my sister. So that was that. Um, this one uh, was the ten cent one. I don't know anything about it, but. On the back it said, if you like whatever that is, or Charlotte's Web, you will enjoy this. So I picked that up, and it's a uh, Newberry Honor or Newberry Medal? It's a Newberry Honor. So, there's that. Alright, I'm just going to start pulling, pulling piles over. I have never read this before in my life, and in my quest to educate myself on great literature, I'm not sure this will be great literature, but anyway, I wanted to pick this up and read it. I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't tend to like this kind of thing. I did Lord of the Flies, Fahrenheit 451, and, um, oh goodness, what else did I try to do? The Great Gatsby, and things like that. To be honest, I don't understand why they are great literature. I could name you ten dozen other ones that I would definitely prefer reading. But I'm still trying, and so I picked that up to go through. Uh, the New England Story, I know nothing about this. Um, but it looked just something like I might enjoy. So I picked it up. Can't tell you anything else about that. I've seen this one um, quite often as a recommendation from Amazon based on the books that I buy and so I picked that up I think this would be medieval history I want to say if I can remember um, I always look for like timelines or something but I'm pretty sure this would be something that might we might even be able to use right now as we finish up our medieval history I know I have another copy of this, but I think I loaned it out and I can't find it again. And I'm going to be needing it for American history. And so I picked this copy up and if I find my other one, hey, then my sister's got one and I've got one. And who doesn't love a good classic, right? I picked this one up. I think this was a 10 cent one. I don't remember. Um, but I thought my son would really enjoy it and probably my daughter as well. Uh, this one is definitely for me. I'm a Jean Austen fan, and it just sounded really good, so I picked that one up. Oh, there we go. It was 50 cents. Okay. Okay. This one was 10 cents. I don't think I have one of these. Um, no, I'm not a Calvinist, but I do like to have 
um, books like this that are basically straight source type of things. And for 10 cents, I was very happy to get that. This is one that um, some, I think it was Gladys Hunt for, and Gladys Hunt, and she recommended it from um, Honey for a Woman's Heart. And honestly, I've seen it so many times, and I'm just so leery about it. And then a friend of mine said that uh, she really thought I might enjoy it, and she thought it was really good. So I picked it up, and I'll give that one a try. I'm reading The Handmaid's Tale right now, okay? And I'm ready to throw that thing into the toilet. I don't, I don't get it, okay? I'm very simple-minded. Okay, this one um, was 10 cents, and... I just picked this up for my son. I really think both of them will enjoy it. And for 10 cents, why not? Um, my sister will probably love this too. So this just might be a good um, reference book just to have during poetry tea time. We tend to draw during that time. And um, yeah, 10 cents. Can't really complain, right? A classic Fox's Book of Martyrs. I am so excited to find this one. I do not have a Fox's Book of Martyrs, and it's definitely something that I need to start. Oops. I need to start, um, uh, it, you know, reading once once again. Whoa, what is this? Oh, how cool is that? You've got, like, a little timeline. How cool is that? Ah! Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the new updated to include recent accounts. Okay, there you go. Okay, um, I picked this up again for our American history. Jefferson Davis, if you do not know, um, is the was the president of the Confederates. So Abraham Lincoln was for the Union. Jefferson Davis for the Confederates. I definitely think it would... I need to read this first. Um, this guy scares me. <laughs> um, anyway, I picked that up. I'm going to read it and kind of go through it and either pull some information out or use that with our American history. This one definitely looks like something my kids would like. I don't... I was trying to read it in the store with my little baby who's very tired and I couldn't tell if it was kind of based on a true story or kind of one of those apocalypse type of things. So before I give that to the kids, I kind of want to research that one a little bit more and find out. Um, this is definitely an amazing book. I've recommended it before and um, I found it. I picked it up because I was going to offer it to the homeschooling ladies um, in our homeschool co-op group thing. It's, it's a good book. It's, you know, it's, it's highlighted, but, um, it was worth having. And then finally I found that one and I'm really excited about that. I have, um, more by this author, Stephen of Philadelphia. He is a, um, older author. Um, I'm trying to think of what year, original copyright 1913. Okay, good. Um, I love it when I'm, when my memory serves me right. Um, but he wrote Stephen of Philadelphia and this one, and then I think it's Mary, uh, I don't remember, but one with Mary. All right, folks, that's going to be my, uh, my haul. Anyway, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Please tell me what, uh, what really kind of captured your interest here and have you been um thrift shopping are you preparing for the next school year leave it down in the comments below i love interaction with my um viewers and i will see you in my next video bye